and I'm making this video to put on record here regarding a matter I have uh, pending with the Internal Revenue Service, the United States government. About in 1995-96, I did not file tax returns as I had no taxable income and no obligation to file these tax returns. The government had a different position and they, they thought that I had taxable income. But we both agreed that I did not file tax returns. So uh, back and forth, government correspondence, uh, not answering my questions, not uh, actually not being responsive, just coming at me saying you owe money. They tried to hit my bank accounts. They tried to hit uh, my employer and such to get money. They never collected any money on this. But in 2008, they filed a lawsuit trying to get a judgment for $144,000 and to foreclose on my family home. Through the process, there's something called discovery, and part of the discovery is seeking answers to interrogatories. So I posed some interrogatories, and among them I asked for copies of assessments, and, and they were never produced, and of course the government didn't have to produce them. They used some other form uh, to say that, yeah, they were done, but in fact don't actually produce the assessments. I also asked them to give me the code section, to provide the code section, that imposed the liability on me in the first place. The government answered that the Internal Revenue Code was public record and therefore I could go find it myself. The judge was not satisfied with that answer so uh, he ordered the government to answer the question further. Well then the government came back and said here are the code sections that relate to this matter. My original question was which section of the Internal Revenue Code imposed the tax on me? Not here are the code sections that relate to this matter. Anyway, through a process of summary judgment, and summary judgment is supposed to be used in legal proceedings when both sides agree on the facts. There are no material issues in dispute. And you know, it's kind of like if you got in a car accident and you said, yeah, I hit the guy from behind, and the other guy says, yeah, he hit me from behind. Those are agreed upon facts, and then the law is applied, and you know, no, no trial is needed. Well, in my case, I certainly did not agree on the facts. That, that the judge does is he rules that uh, Benoit only had a technical disagreement on the definitions about he agrees on the facts. I certainly didn't agree on the facts whatsoever. I didn't agree that I had taxable income, and that's you know, you know the gist of the matter. Anyway, so without trial, I uh, I lose. Summary judgment is awarded uh, on behalf of the government. Well, lots of other things have happened in this process. It would probably take about four hours of taping to go through it all. But as I, I discovered early on, one of the reasons I didn't know uh, the tax, well, actually the penalties, is that you know the, for the penalties to apply, uh, one of the conditions you have to be negligent. Of course, I certainly wasn't negligent in the whole matter. I was disputing it from the get-go. And so, I, you know, there's a disputed fact of whether or not a guy is negligent or not. I mean, the law is pretty specific on that. 